Alright, let's just get into it though. Okay, so I got my partner here, I got Vi here. Hello. And I wanted to do like a Halloween special kind of thing. I wanted to do yet another gritty take since you guys just won't stop asking about it. But I wanted to do like a little Halloween special and I'm like, I had to, I haven't done um, like uh, another Vi piece for their birthday this year. I kind of just glazed over that because we were going through some stuff from job searching and... My birthday happened at a weird time this year. My birthday happened at a weird time this year. I it mean, was yeah. the middle of the week, first of all. It was October 9th, uh, for those who didn't know, but... Being on a Wednesday really does put you in that position of, what am I going to do? Do I do it on the weekend, or do I just figure something out now? <laughs> um, what is your favorite Halloween costume that you've done? Because I've had a lot of good ones over the years, because I, I've always liked pushing my ideas into a tangible, wearable form on Halloween. I think that's also why I loved Halloween, is I loved the potential costumes that I could do. Um, oh god, I've had so many different costumes over the years. Um, one really fun one that I had when I was younger I dressed up as a race car driver. It was literally this weird little, like, leotard onesie. Like, almost like a morph suit, but not really. But it was Dale Earnhardt Jr. and I won a costume contest with it. I thought you were gonna say I dressed up as a race car. <laughs> yeah, I dressed up as Lightning McQueen. I mean, you could have. That was what year did cars come out? Two thousand six. Uh, I think so. Yeah, but prime time to fucking do that. But I mean, I also did a like gothic ice fairy one year, and then I, and then there was a year I switched it up on everybody, and I said, "Ayo, I want to be a werewolf, but not a cute werewolf. I want to be that funky, gruesome." spooky werewolf and everybody everybody was confused as to who I was I've had again I've had several costumes over the years I one of my favorites is doing Kishin Ashura from Soul Eater I did that in like middle school another one I did um I remember doing the Joker like Jack Nicholson's Joker specifically um I think that was also middle school um, costume. Some high school ones that I did were, uh, actually I think that was around the time that I stopped. I think I did freshman year one, but I can't remember if that was whenever, no. The only one I remember beyond that was this voodoo doll I did that was like a burlap sack that I wore and I actually wore button eyes and had to see through the pinholes because I was a tryhard. <laughs> But I also did, um, I did Link, um, did like specifically homemade Link costume. I did homemade Mario with like realistic costumes and such. And I've, I've done a lot of costume ideas that I've thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, I, I kind of stopped trick or treating around high school myself. I still went out though because my brother, my younger brother, frankly he was the one that had more banger costumes than I did. We found a uh, Wheaties costume one year. Wheaties? Like the Wheaties cereal. Oh, <laughs> the orange cereal right. with the basketball player on the front. Right. Yeah, it was like this big like like PVC costume and you just stuck your face through where the basketball player's face would be. He wore that around, I don't remember what I was that year, but 
it, or if that was the year that it snowed and I just wore a cat onesie, but right. <laughs> by high school, I kind of just, it's not that I didn't want to trick or treat, I just, I think it was more costumes got less interesting for me by that point. They didn't try as hard in the later years. No. Media also just got kind of dumb. I'm tired of talking now. <laughs> That's understandable. 